Where are you parked? Right over here. Over there in the Senor, handicap spot. Lista. Oh, I see it. So, did y'all find it? Nope. Yes and no. Yes, you found the place. It was supposed to be no. It doesn't seem like there was anything there. It looked like it was just a cafe bar, and that was it. Huh. So, unless there's a secret basement that doesn't get flooded there. <laughs> What's that thing on the top? Are they living here? Yeah. Yes. They're in this one. Yeah, they're going to move in. We came all the way from Panama with that up there. I, I figured you'd have to use stuff on your rack. You know what? I can't believe you packed all that inside. It's beginning to look that way. You did have to put Cheyenne on top. No flour, no sugar. Oh, heaven. Yes, that's it. I can't what what's that? left after you do that? I know. That's that kind of rules out donuts. Lots of vegetables. Yeah, you brought a lot of I stuff. Change. Change. You live in here. Yeah. I can already tell you, you have too much luggage. Well, you can eat not be luggage. When you get little towel passes, you don't need to bring this out. And I want to say you're your life saver. Thank you for this chair. Yeah. Not yeah, grandma. Thank you. Thank you, grandma. You're gonna have to fight your grandma for that. We'll wrestle wait, 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 wait. for it. No, no, no. Push down on the seat. Hey, Tyler. Y'all can take off. You don't need to wait for us. Exactly. No, I was gonna have them. Wait. I mean, they don't have to wait here, but I want to go to dinner no, no, no. together. That's I know, but we all got to go back to the rooms and unload. You can go back to the, room. Back to the room now if you want. Grab some, no, grab some little things know. with permission. Leave it in there. You'll want it. You're gonna want your pillow. You're gonna want it, Cheyenne. Yeah, she needs your pillow. Diane, you're going to need your pillow. Did you get the... Did you get the I guess you forgot. We're going to try, Grandma. Hold on. You're going to dump me. You got to dump me. Ready? After you come over here. I hope you're going to dump me. Don't dump me. I'm just playing with you. I won't hurt you. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Have a good time. You ready, Grandma? I'm okay. Let's go race. <laughs> Don't you get me. Don't what? Don't get me. It's not easy. It's not bad. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
One flight of stairs. Oh, we're dead. Like it was so long ago that we were. Oh, here. you were here before. I, I completely forgot. I, I remember. I remember the, the lobby, and I forgot about the walk to the rooms. Seven. So we're gonna go eat now. Yeah, just a, just a minute. No, not you first. It's never. this. The kids can actually go out and play because Cody has a map, I have a key. And I, I prefer if you don't go swimming in the ocean. We're well, just going to swim in the pools. There's so many. I know there's no point in swimming in the ocean. But there's I'm no point to the ocean. Don't go swimming in the ocean without a grown up watch. Cut out your turn. There's no point in the ocean. Well, you know. I can do Four. this. Like you need a blue or two. two. Blue Did you see that? She took a handful. Okay. I didn't get a blue in that. <laughs> Check it out. Bad player. Cheyenne. <laughs> You guys start. And I'll, we're bringing I'll get something the back. I'll I'll get the key. Key. <laughs> <laughs>
Bird pops again. Okay, we gotta get off. Come over here, Dad. Stop. Pull me over. Wait, watch it. Watch it. Don't hit Sarah. Watch it. Watch it. Don't hit Sarah. 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 I would say this. Okay, we're going to take the bus. Oh, it's made hard. Oh, it's made hard. It's made hard because if not, it's made hard. 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 Hold on for dear life. I see. Where is it? Down here. She's going to be holding on for dear life. There's a ramp. Like a ramp up here. Yeah. Over here. Kevin's already taken. Yeah, sit next to your mom. Now I get to sit next to Brenda. Oh, oh. Watch out. Oh. In the back and Gary, I don't know. I guess we'll have to walk. No, there's another seat there. It just yep. comes down. That, yeah. Down. He can sit. Ow. He can we sit. have ten people. He can sit here. No, he can sit with the driver. We're, fi we're basically filling this bus. You can sit, you can sit, you can sit in, in the front. Why don't you sit Shop next to the driver? Sit next to the driver. Next time out, Jack. And he gets one. <laughs> we were training to give her a yeah. said, well, let's give mom a drink. <laughs> Can't see. Now I can. We, we walked down this and up to our rear. Every map that we've seen so far doesn't even have it. It just says they, here. They actually write mm -hmm. under, with marker on the map here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You walk in and make a big face when you go in. Okay, go. Go. Look over here to say happy anniversary. Okay. <laughs> okay, had a paper sloppy. Maybe Sally wants Okay, Mom, you can have it. No, no, it's like someone go on this side of the Here, and you go get a clean plate. No point telling him. Yeah. Tyler, be sure you drink plenty of, of water while we're here. Can they make you can you potatoes and bacon and sausage and salchichas, the chopped up hot dogs with tomatoes and onions and this bread is very it's a sweet bread. It's like eating dessert. See where the colorful fish are? Yeah. Go over there, you can get a dessert. Green and white. Green and white. 
Frozen. Ah, okay. No, don't do that. Walk around. I'm getting my juice. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to find them on the table. It's gorgeous. Signs saying hey, for kids to go swimming, you need adult supervision. I'll, I'll go with you. There. How are you just going to go to this one? That's a beach. It's just decoration. And a sort of a pool. Just come on. Come on. That's baby. not a pool that you want. How are you just going to Go ahead and walk toward the tree. Got to stand under. Kind of see the. Explain to the viewer what you see, where we are, and what you're seeing. But look at kind of look at the camera, so you can the microphone can pick you up. You have to talk louder. Okay, keep going.
the beach, palm trees, tree huts, and some nice benches, seats, kind of tent things, a pool, a bunch of people, and that's pretty much it. I think I'm going to need to Go get my stuff and play. Tell them. Tell them. Say something funny. You're doing that cat? That's not funny. Where are we going to set up the camp? Dakota, stay close together. What else? Yeah. Okay, now stay close together. Tyler, say something pertinent. What? Say something pertinent. What's that word mean? It means something that's required for the situation. Like something that makes sense in what you're doing. Like, wow, look at that blue water. Wow, look, look. The water's blue. Dark blue, greenish.
Rosa, a se você me mata. Ai, o seu te pego, ai, ai, o seu te pego. Delícia, delícia, a se você me mata. Ai, o seu te pego, ai, ai, o seu te pego. Coragem e comecei a falar Nossa, nossa, assim você me mata Ai, se eu te pego, ai, ai, eu se eu te pego Delícia, delícia, assim você me mata Ai, eu se eu te pego, ai, ai, eu se eu te pego Get out and jump down. What do you mean, line up? Ready, go.
What are you about to do? Cannonball. What is it you're about to do? Flip. That was bad because Cheyenne was in the What are you going to do? I'm going to jump in and <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna jump in. I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh, no. oh. I'm gonna go talk to the ladies in the getting in the pool. Where is I'm gonna do a flip. mom and getting in the pool. Oops, sorry. I'm getting in the pool. Okay. I'm gonna go get another drink. <laughs> <laughs> you to record her while she's eating. Kevin. Look at it. It says, it says 
Hey guys, see the pencils and boxes yeah. and things on the floor? Pick them all up, please. What's the question? It's okay. If yes, it's fine. No yeah. Yelling. Yeah. Okay. That looks pretty, Mom. That's pretty. I know. And you have your blue, but that's a that's a cover up. Your blue one. Yeah. That's pretty. Do you want to try it? No. It looks pretty, on You try it. Hold it up and see. Good. You're getting good evicted job. by the grown-ups. Welcome to the real world. There's a 12 hours for $16. That's ridiculous. Tea. 12 hours. They don't have any cards. That's, this is why I don't like playing this game. Because people constantly spam that. Yeah. So why do you have to do now? Okay. Ace. I heard eight. No. Number eight. Ace. No. A C E. Like <laughs> I heard number eight. Cody, it's your turn. Uh, we're paying. Uh, so you have to start with an ace every time. Oh, you can cheat it. Oh, okay. Uh, that's why the game is called cheat. I got it now. Okay. Apples, apples, too. Cheat. So if she leaves here at 9.55 in the morning, she needs to have someone pick her up in Albuquerque. At least 10 cards. Please, please. Oh, one thing that happens frequently is... Better smile all the time and then that way they won't know. any kind of a video. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, 
Uno, dos, de arriba, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho. El mismo paso, pero ahora más. Tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Arriba, izquierda, y uno, dos, tres, cuatro, tercero. Voy a bajarme porque después me voy a caer. Música, está rebajando. Keeping score. Yeah. Oh. Cody. 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 Yeah. Cody. Good. Once 
Mary. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> Four, one. Four, one. One. Two. Five. No, sabemos la de la web. Or like that. Things go. Can you turn it that way? Say. Say. Whoa. <laughs> You have nine, you just need one more point. Oh shit. alrededor del mundo around in the world the lady category and gentleman category the egg The wind blowing it. <laughs> I don't think so. Go well, after I saw all the pictures. Hey, y'all head back to the beach. I'm gonna film you. Come on, Mom. I'll follow you, but he wants to walk the full length of this thing six times. I'm oh, that's you. Oh, oh no, you must be. Can I take a close up, Tammy, to hold there and take your drink out and smile for you? Grandpa, here's yeah. a good joke for you. Okay. Grandpa, like you're showing your goodies again. So you're gonna take a picture. <laughs> Okay, so can you two remember what your first day of school was like? Well, it was down at Alfreya Elementary, and I was in first grade, and um, of the public school anyway. And um, I remember the outside playground with the merry-go-round, and we had outside uh, bathrooms, privies, and. Um, I was one of two Anglos, so that was it, and I was sort of lost. So Elaine, can you remember your first day of school? Well, um, my first day of school was two years before hers, <laughs> and I was in, um, my first day of school was in Española, uh, uh, New Mexico, which was um, close to Fairview where we lived. And it was in a Catholic church, and it was in the back of the church in a building because the room that was supposed to be ready for us wasn't ready. And so I just remember that I was with a bunch of, of I was like Sally, that I think I'm not, it was one or two of us that were not uh, Spanish children. And so 
um, I felt fine though, I was okay, had a good time. Um, can't remember my teacher, I don't remember her, uh, except that we were kept under line and I do remember that they made us bring mats to take a nap. And when we took a nap, it was always in the back of the church. But also, well, we were doing the classroom there until our room, classroom was ready. So, Can you, both of you remember when you first met each other? And can you describe your side of the story? Well, our brothers were good friends. And so my brother said, I think that you would like uh, Elaine. This is um, her my brother and Roy were good friends, and so they got us together. And I don't remember actually meeting Elaine, but we used to have to cross the river to get to each other's house, so we'd always walk halfway and then walk to whichever house we were going to. Okay, I remember that uh, when I first met her, um, I remember my that my brother and Sally's brother, Jim Tom, and my brother, Roy, went to school together. Um, uh, they were what a year or two years ahead of us and me and and so then that's what happened what Sally said but I do remember that my mother took me over to your house and and um, uh, we talked with each other and then played a little while and that's how we got uh, to meet each other because first our moms gave us permission to <laughs> everything hunky-dory <laughs> I remember that and and then after that that was it we were friends forever since then can you two remember actually going to school together or anything like that I don't think we went to school first and second grade uh, because Elaine was going to the Catholic school and I was still in the, the other school but when we got to junior high, Elaine is two years ahead of me, and we were in junior high together. That was our first time together in school. Yeah, that, it was, it was. But, um, I, do, I do remember um, in first and second grade that I, I got sick, and so when I was sick at the school, I went to the same school that she did, um, in because uh, we moved, from Fairview in Española, we moved to Santa Fe. So I went to the same school that Sally went to only before, and, uh, two years before her, and um, that's exactly how she said the school was. But I got uh, yellow jaundice from the outdoor toilet there because, I don't know, that just wasn't as clean as it should be or what, but I had to stay home for six months, and so I was homeschooled. And so that was not very much fun. Finally, I got well. But I went through, uh, I remember that after I got so sick there, then my mother sent me to St. I think it was St. Anne's um, uh, Catholic School. And that's where I went to second and third grade. And, and so um, we weren't, together in school at that time so we were always playing with each other on the weekends or whenever it was good for us to play with each other okay so Sally can you remember what your first reaction was to seeing Elaine and with her arm like that I thought that was pretty amazing that uh, Elaine could uh, you know be pretty normal. I mean, she was, her mother made her do everything. She was not pampered at all. And uh, so, therefore, I had to do everything too. I mean, she could iron. I was always amazed. She taught me how to iron. And she had a washing machine with the uh, roller thing and uh, she got her hand caught in that once. And, um, yeah, I thought it was just amazing, and I always hoped it would grow back. I mean, that she would, you know, be able to grow a new new arm. Uh, when I thought, found out that it wouldn't grow back, I still amazed again. So. My arm, when I was little, it never affected me. I always felt like I had two arms like everybody else. It's just that mine happened to be shorter, but I could do everything 
I think when you're born with something like that, uh, that you just go on and learn to do what you have to do and go on. And Sally was, we were such good friends and, and did so many fun things together. Uh, I think that uh, she was with me not too long afterwards that we met each other, that that was the end of that because she never, you know, said anything, well, why can't you do this or why can't you do that? Because I could always do it, so. Did you ever feel that you were out of place or felt that you didn't belong in school or something because of your arm or how you were? I think what, what happened was um, that the other kids thought I was different, you know, and because of that, I, I think that they weren't used to seeing me and it took them a while to get used to me instead of um, me feeling out of place. I think it was them that fell out of, felt out of place and so uh, to me, I didn't feel any different. They did because uh, that's what they were thinking. So. And Elaine was very popular so um, you know, it's sort of an honor to be her friend and uh, had to, you know, push other people away so I could be her number one friend. <laughs> <laughs> Sally, how did you get Gertrude for a name? I decided one day that we needed nicknames and we already were starting our own language and we needed to find a name that nobody else had and we wanted the worst name that we could ever think of. And Gertrude was the worst name we could think of, and it was so bad that we both wanted it. So we're both Gertrude. <laughs> okay, so why did you both exactly want Gertrude for the worst possible name ever, and why exactly did you think it was the worst possible name ever? It was just such a uh, funny name, and uh, we couldn't think of anybody that was named Gertrude at the time, and uh, it just made us giggle really a lot. But then we decided, well, maybe we do need to think of a second name, so we thought of Cluckerhead. <laughs> so, so then we called each other Cluckerhead. <laughs> so then we both ended up with two names because <laughs> we couldn't decide which one to call who, what. So we still call each other Cluckerhead, too. <laughs> <laughs> and it still makes us laugh and um, when we call each other up on the phone we say is Cluckerhead there or is Gertrude there or and then we have uh, the Gertrude yeah and then we the. have Gertrude so how did you meet your husband at, at college when um, we were my first day of registration well it was his too I guess and um, we were in line um, registering and I saw him up in line in front of me once and I didn't say anything but then I got all my books and I was um, trying to, um, well I had to walk away a million miles with him and finally uh, I came to this door that was a, it was a, a, a swing door that I, I had to go through that door while I got caught in the dumb door. and. That one door went one way and the other went the other way. And so my books, half of them went in the door and the other half went out the door. Gary happened to see me standing there like an idiot and he picked them all up and carried them for me for three months after that because he didn't think I could carry them myself. <laughs> he was so surprised one day when I grabbed him up <laughs> and carried him. He said, I didn't know you could do that. I said, well, how did I get him to the door? <laughs> said that. <laughs> well, when we were in high school, Elaine was dating a guy named Kenneth, and uh, I did not like him very much, and I was afraid that she was going to marry him. Then he had a brother that asked me to marry him, and uh, of course back then we thought we should be married by 16 or 17 or whatever. Thank goodness we didn't, and uh, Anyway, so when Elaine went away for college, I was really, really glad that she had met Gary because he was top quality. <laughs> and of course, when they got married, Gary didn't know that I came along with the, uh, you know, I was part of the 
deal. The deal there. So uh, they went on their, I don't know, every time they moved, I came along and helped them with ironing and whatever else. So it was, it was pretty funny. And um, so I met my first husband. I've been married twice. And uh, when I went to, when I went away to teach and in Ventura and met him out in California. And then, so that we were married 20 years and Elaine was my best, uh, my maid of honor and I was her maid of honor and, and we were always laughing. And when Gary said, I take you to be my, my life instead of my wife, we all cracked up again. So poor Gary, he was always getting it. So what did you two do for your supper, or summer? I'll cut that out. It's swimming lessons, and so we'd always, we've gone through all the beginners through lifeguard lessons and diving off the top, well, not quite diving, jumping off the top uh, diving board. And then we would get together and play Monopoly, and uh, and if one of, one of us ran out of money, then the other one would lend the other one money because we didn't want to quit playing the game. And we'd play cards and we would laugh and laugh. I don't know what was so funny, but we'd laugh and laugh and laugh until we wet our pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I can see why you two we, we had We always had fun. It didn't matter what we were doing. And I remember at my house once we forgot the Monopoly game from bringing it from Sally's house, so we decided to make our own Monopoly game. So we'd have another Monopoly game, and so we made it out of paper and cardboard, and we played with that thing for years, too, before it completely wore out. But another game we played a lot was Crazy Eight. And Canasta. And Canasta, yeah. So, but we were never bored. We always had something to do. Um, we always had games to play, and when I was learning, you, she talked about when I was learning to swim, um, I ended up having to have a uh, private uh, tutor because I couldn't keep up with the class not having two arms. And so the, the private tutor took me and, and she, she showed me how to swim the, the side stroke. And, and um, anyway, she showed me that. And another stroke, Tammy knew the name of the foot stroke, I forgot, frog kick or whatever I think it's called. And I remember that uh, they passed me in the class because she had taken the time to teach me um, how to how to swim. And then I got back into the regular classroom. So that was good. <laughs> and so what happened when Susan, Elaine's sister, came along? What was your reaction and what did you do when Gertrude went to Elaine's house. Well, I was a little jealous, you know. Elaine's going to have a sister, and she may not be able to play with me, and she's going to have to take care of that little sister and everything. But uh, when uh, Helen was in the hospital having Susan, of course, I was over at Elaine's house, and they had this babysitter, and uh, so Elaine and I said, well, let's pretend we're sleeping sleepwalking. Well, we started out of the door like this. Then we that couldn't stop, stop laughing. So then we got a wash rag, put it over our mouths, and here we were like this, walking around. Uh, and this lady said, you girls get back to bed. <laughs> and then when uh, Susan was a little older and she could play with us, then uh, we'd play hide and seek and uh, We'd tell Susan to hide, and we'd go run away. <laughs> Never ever find us. Sister came along. I just thought she was so cute and so precious, and I thought, well, I have this little baby doll to play with. That's what it was like. But I actually was um, ended up being a babysitter for a while because my mother was a nurse, and, and she went to work after my sister got a little bit older. And, and so my sister really was around Sally and I a lot. And so 
um, we always had a little sister to take care of, and then um, we, when we get tired of her, we we that's what we would do is what Sally said we'd go, <laughs> we'd go hide, <laughs> so she couldn't find us, and that was usually when my mom was home then. We didn't do it when we were alone because we knew we were responsible for her. Um, and so anyway, um, I'm not sure how she grew up as well as she did. <laughs> it wasn't because of us. So what other great experiences have you had over the years? Uh, tell each other that we were psychic and we, there was a, um... On the road up to from Elaine's house, we'd go under the culvert. We'd go in the culvert, and we'd sit there and we'd read each other's minds. We would, you know, think like Karnak or whatever, and, and tell the other person we could read what the other person's mind was. So we'd be there for hours. It seemed like. So, what was your drive? Your first driving experiences like? My brother's Chevy, he took me out by the airport and it was a stick shift, you know, on the, on the steering wheel and I actually did pretty good and um, after that my, my dad had a 47 Dodge pickup and then I could drive that around and when I started working I'd drive that in the summertime to work. And back. Everybody knew where anybody was in that pickup because it was the only one in Santa Fe. Well, too, the pickup was when she was so small, before we were supposed to learn to drive, uh, her dad needed the pickup across the field for some reason, so he put us in it so we could drive it across the field. <laughs> we, and neither one of us could reach the steering wheel and the pedals at the same time. So one of us would do the pedals and the other ones would do the steering, and we took turns doing that to get that pickup where it needed to go. <laughs> We eventually got it to him, and he said, good job, girls. I remember that. <laughs> what was it like when your mom started to hide the sweets? Somewhere in that house. And her mother would be off, off to work, and Elaine wouldn't know where anything was. Her mother had already hidden it. So it was always uh, like an egg hunt. You know, we were always looking for the cookies, and we'd always find them. <laughs> we still hid the cookies. Even when we were older, she would still hide them and we'd still look for them. <laughs> I remember once, even after we were married, she hid them just so Sally could find them. <laughs> when we went to her house, and sure enough, Sally found him. by me.
gracias. No más caos de... Muy bien, gracias. ¿Y usted? Muy bien. Sí, Kevin got it. We just had a good conversation. Down this road or back to one in the I think we should just head out. That one just goes and makes a little triangle. Yeah. Can we go back home, please? I'm pretty much out of the